Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we break down complex accounting concepts into easy to understand lessons. Today, we're diving into the world of bonds and exploring all possible journal entry scenarios. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how each entry affects both the income statement and the balance sheet. Let's get started. First off, what are bonds? Think of bonds as loans that companies take from investors. When a company needs money, instead of going to a bank, they can issue bonds. Investors buy these bonds, essentially lending money to the company. In return, the company promises to pay back the principal amount plus interest. We'll start with the simplest scenario, issuing bonds at par, meaning at their face value. Example, imagine company XYZ issues $100,000 of bonds at par. Journal entry, debit, cash, $100,000. Credit, bonds payable, $100,000. When we issue bonds at par, we receive cash, which increases our assets. Bonds payable increases our liabilities. Impact on the balance sheet is as follows. Cash increase by $100,000. Bonds payable increase by $100,000. On the income statement, there is no immediate effect. Next, let's discuss issuing bonds at a discount. This happens when the bonds are sold for less than their face value. Example, company XYZ issues $100,000 of bonds for $95,000. Journal entry, debit, cash, $95,000, debit. Discount on bonds payable, $5,000. Credit, bonds payable, $100,000. The discount represents additional interest expense over the life of the bond. Cash increases, but by less than the face value. The discount is recorded as a contra liability. Impact on the balance sheet is as follows. Cash increase by $95,000. Bonds payable increase by $100,000. Discount on bonds payable, which is a contra liability, decreases liabilities by $5,000. On the income statement, there is no immediate effect, but interest expense will be higher over time due to the discount. Now let's look at issuing bonds at a premium. This occurs when bonds are sold for more than their face value. Example, company XYZ issues $100,000 of bonds for $105,000. Journal entry, debit, cash, $105,000. Credit, bonds payable, $100,000. Credit, premium on bonds payable, $5,000. The premium represents a reduction in interest expense over the life of the bond. Cash increases by more than the face value, and the premium is recorded as a liability. Impact on the balance sheet is as follows. Cash increase by $105,000, bonds payable increase by $100,000, and premium on bonds payable increases by $5,000. On the income statement, there is no immediate effect, but interest expense will be lower over time due to the premium. Next, let's move on to interest payments. Companies typically pay interest semi-annually or annually. Example. Company XYZ pays 5% annual interest on $100,000 bonds. Journal entry, debit, interest expense, $5,000. Credit, cash, $5,000. Interest payments decrease cash and are recorded as an expense, reducing net income. On the income statement, interest expense increases by $5,000, reducing net income by $5,000. On the balance sheet, cash decreased by $5,000 and equity decreases by $5,000. Now, let's talk about amortizing bond discount or premium over the bond's life. This spreads the impact over time. Example, company XYZ amortizes $5,000 discount over five years using straight line method. Journal entry, made annually. Debit, interest expense, $1,000. Credit, discount on bonds payable, $1,000. Amortizing the discount increases interest expense each year. On the income statement, interest expense increases by $1,000, dollars 
reducing net income by $1,000. On the balance sheet, discount on bonds payable, which is a contra liability, increases liabilities by $1,000 and equity decreased by $1,000. Example, company XYZ amortizes $5,000 premium over five years using straight line method. Journal entry, made annually debit premium on bonds payable $1,000. Credit, interest expense $1,000. Amortizing the premium decreases interest expense each year. On the income statement, interest expense decreases by $1,000, increasing net income by $1,000. On the balance sheet, premium on bonds payable decreases by $1,000, and equity increased by $1,000. Finally, let's cover bond redemption before maturity. This occurs when a company repays the bond principal early. Example. Company XYZ redeems $100,000 bonds at 102 or 102% of face value. Journal entry, debit, bonds payable, $100,000. Debit, loss on bond redemption, $2,000. Credit, cash, $102,000. Redeeming bonds at a premium creates a loss, which reduces net income. Cash decreases and liabilities are removed from the balance sheet. On the income statement, loss on bond redemption increases by $2,000, reducing net income by $2,000. On the balance sheet, cash decrease by $102,000, bonds payable decrease by $100,000, and equity decreased by $2,000. And there you have it. We've covered issuing bonds at par, discount, and premium, making interest payments, amortizing bond discounts and premiums, and bond redemption. Understanding these journal entries and their impact on the financial statements is crucial for any accountant.